Oh, by the way, I feel like I usually say that on these bonus video. We're on chapter 10. Chapter, last time we did 7, 8, 9, because they were like super short. But in those, she realized, she finally knows that her husband was cheating, and she knows that he is arrested for murder and a, and a suspect, and she made the decision that she's gonna stick beside him. My girl said, that's my man, and I'm gonna stick beside him. She better than me. All right, we've already established that, but I'm excited because she hasn't talked to him yet. She's only talked to the officers and has had the realization, but she hasn't had that conversation with him. So I'm curious how this is going to go. Like I said, 789 was really short, and I didn't look and see how long chapter 10 was, but if it's too short, then we'll do chapter 11 and so on and so on, depending on the length. But I'm excited. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Chapter 10 is in Adam's point of view. I've seen the crime scene photos. I know what they think I did. My poor Kelly. <sighs> this man said, I mean, I guess, yeah, my poor Kelly. Yeah, poor Kelly, you know, but the my part that was uncalled for. I am so jealous. Wow. I mean, I already knew that. person. I'm not jealous for Adam because Adam's gross, but I am like, I put myself in the mindset of like Sarah and I feel like he's cheating on me. Like, go to jail. Literally. How could this have happened? I was right there with her the whole night, but I didn't do this. I tried to explain repeatedly about her abusive husband, but they kept saying they were looking at all angles, but it seems that they've already picked their effing angle. I hope my mom was able to get a hold of Sarah, though I don't know how I'm even going to face her. Things were just looking up for us. I was going to end it with Kelly once and for all. I was going to be a good husband again, the one that Sarah deserves. But most importantly, I was going to be a father. Oh God, the baby. What if she's pregnant? What if the baby grows up without a father? I can't let that happen. I have to get out of this. I need to be there for my child. Deputy Hudson questioned me for the past hour and a half. Another officer stood guard, which was for the best, because I thought for sure Deputy Hudson was going to kill me or at least try. I don't know how he knows Kelly, but I'm sure he does. He finally left me alone and scurried out when I refused to answer any more questions. That's the AC of our air conditioning because it's one in the morning and my family is home and I can't turn it off because they'll literally kill me. Sorry. <laughs> I demanded my lawyer. I should have asked for one right away. Yeah, you should have to be honest. This is bad. This is really bad. They found Kelly in my home, stabbed to death. My fingerprints are going to be all over the place, all over her. We had rough sex, and the note I left. Now that I think about it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. But the texts from her husband are undeniable. There's something there. They'll have to investigate him because there's no way they could ever believe that I would do this. I couldn't. I wouldn't. Kelly and I had a great time, and I loved her. <laughs> she was there when I needed someone. I would never hurt her, but her husband would. Has. I stood up and pounded on the one-way mirror. Tears streamed down my crumpled face. Get me my effing lawyer. I picked up a chair and threw it at the mirror. It bounces off and hits the ground. Okay, maybe it's not, maybe now is not the time to be being overly aggressive, my guy. You know, they think you're a murderer. Let's, let's go now, let's go now. Also, me gagging and him saying that he loves Kelly is more to just so me thinking that he's a cheater, you know, because you shouldn't be loving no other woman other than your wife, Adam, but I do really feel bad for Kelly because she was just trying to escape from her life that was so sad, so sad for Kelly, but I just, I can't stand Adam, so also chapter 10 was that that was it for chapter 10 so let's do chapter 11 which is in sarah's point of view sarah stevens escorts me into a small room with a one-way mirror through which we can observe adam 
he's visibly shaken, sitting at the table tapping his fingers, fighting back the tears, and contemplating. Have a seat, Sheriff Stevens gestures to a chair. I composed myself in the bathroom prior. I'm no longer here as Adam's wife. I'm his lawyer. I'm Sarah Morgan, top criminal defense attorney, period. I must remind myself of that every minute or so. I have to be the strong and proficient woman I am. I know Adam didn't do this. I honestly can't believe that he would even be capable of hitting someone, let alone, let alone killing a person. But I also thought he would never cheat on me. As the sheriff investigators show, he has been, for at least a year, with this Kelly woman. I shake my head in disgust thinking about it. I can't believe it. I don't believe it yet. Not until Adam admits it to me. He wouldn't have done any of this. Oh girl, don't, girl, don't be blind, girl. Like, don't be blind. I pull a notepad and a pen from my purse and shh, and look to Sheriff Stevens. Just tell me the facts of the case. Are you sure you want to hear this? Yes, don't spare any details. He gives me a sympathetic look and nods. I'm sure by now he knows exactly who I am. When I walked out of the bathroom, Sheriff Stevens has a new respect for me. I'm sure he googled me and found that I was not just some lowly housewife. Ooh. Ooh, girl. Nothing against housewives. I love a good housewife. I want to be one one day. <laughs> nothing against the housewives my girl is just going through it okay <laughs> he looked at me with compassion and admiration maybe he thinks i'm crazy to stand behind adam i do but adam is my husband the victim's name is kelly summers age 27 she was found this morning at approximately 9 15 a.m by a cleaning woman by the name of sonia kelly was found dead in bed at adam and he coughs I guess your bed at a lake house in Prince William County. She had been stabbed. Oh my god. She had been stabbed 37 times in the neck, chest, and torso. To how gruesome this murder was, it would appear it was a crime of passion. There are no defensive wounds, which tells us that she was asleep when it occurred. Her eyes were open when she was found, which tells us that she had woken up during the stabbing. A toxicology report is being done, and we believe she had drugs in her system, which would explain why she didn't wake up right away. A preliminary autopsy found the semen in her... I was not expecting that. It's a little bit graphic. Well, not graphic, but it's, it's a little bit much, so just be aware. A preliminary autopsy found semen in her mouth, vagina, and anus. There is bruising on her right shoulder, but that appears to have been caused at least a day or two before. She has a couple of small tears in her anus and vagina, which would insinuate our word or rough sex. They found skin under her fingernails. He finishes. He looks away, then back at me. I finish jotting down the notes and look at him. Is that everything? That's all we have as of now. Our eyes meet and I can see that he feels sorry for me. God, I feel sorry for her. Oh my God, that was a lot. Imagine hearing all of that about the woman that your husband just cheated with and that poor woman is now dead. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my God, that kind of, that kind of got me a little bit. I can see how uncomfortable he is. I can see him questioning why in the hell I am defending Adam. The look I give back is a look of strength and vulnerability. I don't know why I'm doing this. A loud bang on the glass pulls my attention away from Sheriff Stevens. Adams is pounding on the other side of the one-way mirror. He seizes a chair and throws it. It bounces off and hits the ground with a thud. He screams and then collapses on the floor in a puddle of anguish. I turn back to Sheriff Stevens. My mouth drops open and my eyes widen. I've never seen Adam react like that. I've never seen him do more than raise his voice. I've never seen him this enraged. Maybe he could be violent. He comes across less like a confused man in the wrong situation and more like a wild animal backed into a corner, capable of anything to claw its way out. 
I see a fire in Adam's eyes that I didn't know existed. To be honest, before this moment, if someone had asked me if I thought Adam was capable of murder, I would have quickly said no. Deep down, I thought he was a bit of a... <laughs> Same. I want to read it, but it's such a vocal word that I can't. She says, deep down, I thought he was a bit of a P-U-S-S-Y. But now, I see what, that I was wrong. Working beneath the surface is something else. Something more. I need to see my client. Sheriff Stevens nods. Just so you know, we just got a warrant to search both homes and pull DNA. We're also looking at conducting a polygraph test if Adam is cooperative, but I'll give you some time to speak to him. My gosh, you guys, all I can think about is the fact that he, like, left the house, like, the lake house and never showered. Like, even up until this point, this man has still never showered. There is so much DNA on him, probably blood, all types of stuff. Like, this man is done. He's done. He's done for. Okay. I stand up and collect my things. Before I pull the door open, I turn back to the sheriff. He is inches from me, and I can feel the warmth of his breath. Thank you, Sheriff Stevens. He gives me a nod and tells me he'll be outside the room and that he'll send someone in for the DNA testing in 20 minutes. I close my eyes and take a deep breath, reassuring myself that I can do this. And that's chapter 11. details were a lot y'all wow that made me really sad actually okay chapter 12 is only like two pages so we're gonna do that too let's get into it adam's point of view chapter 12 the door opens and i pull myself off the floor and stand up as soon as i see her i almost collapse again she's beautiful dressed in a black pencil skirt that hugs her hips in all the right ways. This is what you're thinking about right now. This is what you're thinking about. You can't stand this man. A white form... <laughs> I need to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I about A white form-fitting blouse and a tailored jacket. Every strand of her blonde hair is in place, wrapped in a bun at the nape of her neck. As per usual, her pouty lips and green eyes draw me in and it's her eyes that almost caused me to lose it. They're slightly red, and there's a small smear of black mascara. She's been crying. I've never seen her cry. What the fuck did I do? You know what you did. Can't stand men. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I love you. I, I love men. But I just can't stand this man. Sarah, I'm so... She holds up her hand, stopping me. She judges me to take a seat in the most formal of ways. Probably like that. <laughs> I pick up my chair from the floor and place it upright. There's no sense in arguing. I didn't kill Kelly, but I did cause this. I caused all of this. I take a seat, holding my hands in front of me and hanging my head. Sarah takes a small breath and approaches the table. Her black heels clicking along the floor. Everything she does is with purpose. She's trying to hold it all together. She sets her back down on the table and pulls out her chair slowly. With complete compose. Sure. <laughs> she takes a seat. She runs one hand over her hair and takes another small breath. Her eyes are the same eyes I've always looked at. But she's looking at me as if she doesn't know me. Her gaze dances around mine. She's assessing me. Questioning me. She's treating me like I'm a, a client. Sarah, there's a little aggravation in my voice. I don't mean it, but I don't like the way she's looking at me. How can she even question that I would do something like this? How can she act like she doesn't know who I am? I'm her husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're her husband. It's how nice of you to remember after cheating on her for a year and and loving now and loving another woman how nice of you to finally remember adam that you're her husband love that for you oh my god i am too invested this is ridiculous <laughs> she pulls out a notepad and a pen she sets them on the table neatly parallel to one another she places her hands on her lap and looks directly at me adam 
she pauses. She's choosing her words with care, and I don't know why she can't just talk to me. Sarah, I didn't do this. I didn't kill her, I swear. I couldn't do it. I was sleeping with her, but I would never hurt her. You have to believe me. I bleed while fighting back tears. She doesn't flinch. She doesn't react. Honestly, I love that for her. Okay. She dots down a couple of words. Her eyes well up. She swallows hard. She's so strong, and I'm the one breaking her. I'm supposed to be the one protecting her. Her chest rises and falls. Sarah, I love you. I love you so effing much. I just want this to be over. I just want things to go back to the way they were. I want to start a family with you. I want to be with you and only you. I'm an idiot. I should have never cheated. I know that, and I promise I will spend the rest of my life making it up to you. Just uh, as soon as this is all over, I swear to effing God. I grab her hand, wanting her to show me some sort of emotion. Wanting her to love me. Wanting her to yell at me or hit me or something. I need her to be mad at me. I need her to cry. I need her to hold me. I need her to tell me everything is going to be okay. You know what? Let me just let me just be quiet. She pauses. Her hand is warm, but her eyes are cold. She's hurting, and I don't blame her. She pulls her hand away. Adam, I need you to understand. I am here as your lawyer, not your wife. I stare at her in disbelief. Why are you defending me after what I did to you? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, me and Adam are finally on the same page. Because when I said, till death do us part, I meant it. And I'm the only person that has any chance in hell of getting you off. There's ice in her voice, and rightfully so. I dropped eye contact. I can't look at her. How could I do this? How could I get us into this point? I'm sorry. I let out a soft sob. She puts pen to paper and gives me a stern look. I need you to tell me everything. Every single detail. Do not leave anything out, do you understand? I nod. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I should just tell her that I'll get a different lawyer. But she's right. She's the best, and she's my only shot at getting out of this. From what Deputy Hudson told me, the evidence is stacked against me. He said I'll for sure fry, and he'll be happy to see me pay for this crime. They'll find my semen in Kelly. They'll find my fingerprints and DNA all over her. They'll discover texts and phone calls and meetups that go back over a year. When did you two first meet? About a year and a half ago. And how did you meet? I close my eyes and take a deep breath, remembering that warm summer day. The day Kelly entered my life. And that's chapter 12. <laughs> chapter 13 is also in Adam's point of view, which is different from what's been happening. It's been going back and forth, but 13 is also in Adam's point of view. And I think there's going to be some sort of like flashback or something to the past. So I'm excited about that. I would read another one, but I've got to end it on a juicy note. You know, I got to, I got to keep it juicy. So we're going to stop there tonight. You guys, Sarah is such a strong woman. She's such a strong woman. Like not only is she going to defend her husband, but now she has to listen to all the details of his affair and like such like vividness. Like she needs to know everything. Like, oh my God, I want to throw up thinking about that. I swear I can't with this book like she ooh, I hope that she gets her like justice or like her get back at the end of this book like I swear to god if she does not come out on top I honestly hope that Adam goes to jail like I'm not even joking like if he I don't care if he did or not like just 